Tolikami here. Welcome to the third part of my new login and register tutorial series. Now in this part we're going to set up the database which is what's going to hold the user information when they've registered and we're going to create the PHP files which will allow our Android app to communicate with the database. So let's start things off. I'm using triple zero web host which is a free hosting site. You guys can do the same or you can use your own. So if you're using triple zero web host head over to go to cPanel and now in the database section click MySQL. Now I've created a database already but to do the same thing you just enter the name, the username for your database and the password for your database and click create database and give that a few minutes for it to create. And now when you've created your database to view it click PHP my admin and then click enter PHP my admin. Now this will take you to the database. We need to create a user table which is what is going to hold the detail of the user that registers so of every user that registers should I say so number of fields is five and now the first field would be the user ID field and this is what's going to make a user unique in the database you want every user to be unique in the database and we want that to be int and in the extra I want you guys to select auto increment this means it will go from 0, 1, 2, 3 and it ensures that the user ID will be unique. Now, second thing that we need to store about the user is the name and it's a var uh, um, car so it means we can we have to give a length to it. So I'm making it 16. This means the maximum length of a name we can have in a database is 16. Now do the same for username. I'll also make that 16. Age. The type will be a tiny int because an age isn't going to exceed the limit of a tiny int except some of you guys out there are immortal if so comment and tell me how you do it and now the final thing we need to store for the user is the password and also I'm going to do um, leave that as a variable char a character at 16 now when that's all done just click save and you should see your table has been created now in the description section of every video in this series, I'm going to leave a link to the GitHub repository of this project. And if you head over to that link now, you see there's the login.php and the register.php. If you open that up, I'll just quickly go through what everything means. Now, the first, this is the most important thing for you guys to change. Now it says my host, my user, my password, and my database. You need to replace this with the host, user, password, and database in your my, for your MySQL. And I'll show you how to get that. You just head over to MySQL. And remember, this is your database, user, host, and the password is the password you chose there. So now you've filled in these details, what the, the, what's happening in the rest of the file. So when the Android app calls this login.php file, it's gonna give it a username parameter and a password parameter. And this line is going to select a user from the database where the username and password matches the username and password that has been given to this file right here. And it basically gets the rest of the details from the database such as the name, age and um, password and it encodes it into a JSON format and then sends it back to the app. And now, just same thing is, and this is similar for the register.php file too. So when the Android app calls the register.php file, it'll give you a name, age, username, and password parameter. And what this line does right here is inserts these details into the user table, and then it responds with a um, it responds with a JSON array that says success is equal to true. This basically says that the the person was registered successfully. Now, if you guys want to extend this yourself, you can do things such as checking the table to see if the username already exists. And if it does, then make the success false, which will stop the login. But we're not going to be doing that in this tutorial. Now that you guys have an understanding of what the login.php and the register.php files are doing, we need to now upload these files to our server. So to do that, I mean, I go to the C panel again, I click File Manager 2, click Public HTML, 
and as you can see the login.php uh, and register.php file is already there because I've uploaded them already but for you guys you'd have to click upload file choose the file and then click OK now that's it for this tutorial guys we've uploaded the PHP files to our server and we've created our database in the next tutorial we'll begin work on connecting the Android app to the database now remember guys if you're having problems with this tutorial you can comment in the, on this video or you can head over to my Facebook page and then post on my wall. Thanks guys for listening. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.